I suddenly became Carson's rival, which was stupid. I was going on Fox. Fox had five stations in those days. Carson uh, absolutely tried to kill me, really, phys not, not physically myself, but try. Is that what you want to talk about? What, yeah, which part? Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, I got my own show on Fox, and Fox, they didn't even have numbers then. You know what I mean? It, it was a, they had five affiliates when they started. Silly. Uh, but I suddenly became a threat to Carson. And he did everything. He said I never told him. First one I, he, I called was Carson. I have been, I've always been very proud of that because, you know, all these lies that have come out. She never called Carson. She didn't tell Johnny. Bullshit. I called him. He hung up on me. I called him again. And the second time when I called him, his wife said he's not here. I said, he was in that big house in Malibu. I said, it's one room. He had this huge, major glass. I said, he's there. It's one room. He's there. Um, and he never spoke to me again, ever. I would, you know, now, dissolve. I was fired from Fox. My husband committed suicide. I was out of work. I was broke. I couldn't get myself arrested. I would see him in a restaurant. He still wouldn't talk to me. Mean, what do you want? What I'm you dead. Put a blanket over me. Bad man, bad man. Sorry, most brilliant straight man. Carson was the most brilliant straight man ever. Ever, nobody touches him. The most brilliant in late night ever. And the wonderful people in there in late night now. I mean, I think they're just amazing. Um, but uh, mean, mean son of a bitch.